This tutorial covers upgrading Windows 8 or Windows 7 to Windows 10. First, we need to download the upgrade tool. Open a web browser like Internet Explorer. From a Windows 8 computer, follow these steps. On the Windows 8 Start screen, select the Internet Explorer tile. If you don't see it on the default Start screen, select the down arrow at the bottom of the screen to view all the apps on the system. From here you can find Internet Explorer in alphabetical order. Select the Internet Explorer tile. If not already there, select in the address bar and enter bing.com. If you are using Windows 7, follow these steps instead. Select the Start button. All Programs. And then find Internet Explorer in the list. If not already there, select in the address bar and enter bing.com. Now we need to download the Windows 10 software download tool. Select in the Bing search field. Enter Windows 10 software download. And select the magnifying glass to search. The first link on the page should be titled Windows 10. If we look at the link that this page goes to, it should read microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash software dash download forward slash Windows 10. If you don't see this link on your screen, you can select the link to download this tool in the video description below. Select the download link. Scroll down to the Download Tool Now links. There are two different versions of the tools available to download. There is a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. If you are unsure which version you are running, I will link to another tutorial showing how to check which version your computer runs. In general, older computers, or ones with low amounts of RAM, will be 32-bit versions and newer or more powerful computers will run 64-bit versions. If your computer has more than 4 gigabytes of RAM, it is most likely a 64-bit version of Windows. Select the link that corresponds to your version of Windows. At the bottom of the window, it will show the tool being downloaded under the name Media Creation Tool x64.exe if you download the 64-bit version like we are in this tutorial, or Media Creation Tool x86.exe for the 32-bit version. When finished, select the Run button at the bottom of the window. You may get a message from the user account control asking if it's alright for this program to make changes to the system. Select Yes if you get this message. The Windows 10 setup window will open to a screen with two different options. Upgrade this PC now. The default option of Upgrade this PC now will upgrade this computer using the Windows 10 setup app. This will allow us to upgrade this computer without deleting your personal files like the contents of the Documents folder. Create installation media for another PC. You would select this option to create a bootable DVD or USB to use to install Windows 10. You could then use this to install Windows 10 on this computer or another one. This tutorial will only cover upgrading directly from this app without the need to create installation media.
Leave Upgrade This PC Now selected and select the Next button. Windows 10 will start downloading the necessary setup files in the background. The installation files for Windows 10 are around 3.5 gigabytes, so it might take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection. If the setup window gets in your way, you can minimize it to the Windows taskbar by selecting the Minimize button. It can be restored by selecting the tile on the taskbar. You can keep using your computer while the setup files download. When everything finishes downloading and is ready to install, we will see the Windows 10 setup license terms. Read the license terms. And select the Accept button. The setup will download additional updates. When all the updates are downloaded and it is ready to install Windows 10, it will show the Ready to Install screen. As it notes on the screen, you won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs, and that you should make sure you save all your files before proceeding. As it shows, it will keep personal files and apps when it installs Windows 10. We can change what it keeps by selecting Change what to keep. The Choose What to Keep screen allows us to select three options. Keep Personal Files and Apps. This keeps our personal files, apps, and our Windows settings. Keep Personal Files Only. This will keep our personal files, but our settings and apps will be deleted. Nothing. This option removes the personal files, apps, and Windows settings. Leave Keep Personal Files and Apps selected and select the Next button. Back on the Ready to Install screen. This is the last chance to save any open files and to ensure that you have a full backup of everything you can't live without. If you haven't already made a system backup, you should go back and do that now. If you're upgrading from Windows 8, you can back it up with the Windows Easy Transfer app. If you're upgrading from Windows 7, you can back it up with the Windows 7 Backup and Restore tool. These older backups can be restored in Settings, Update and Security, Backup. Links to these tools will be provided in the description below. Ensure all your work is saved, and select the Install button. Setup will now upgrade the computer to Windows 10. This will probably take an hour or more, but the time will vary depending on the speed of the computer. After setup is finished installing Windows 10, we will see the screen welcoming us back. Here it will show us the username it is setting up on the computer. If we are a different user, we can select here. Select the Next button. The Get Going Fast screen provides us with an overview of the Express settings Microsoft would like to apply to this user account. It provides an overview at the top with a scrollable bar at the right.
We can select the Learn More option to view more detailed information about the settings. If you want to change these settings individually, you can select Customize Settings. This tutorial will not cover these steps. To use the default settings, we will select Use Express Settings. New apps for the new windows. This screen provides an overview of some of the new Windows 10 Universal apps included with Windows. Photos. This app is used to view and share photos and videos from all your devices. Music. This app is used to play and manage your music collection on your phone, PC, and Xbox. Movies and TV. This app is used to play your personal videos, as well as rent and buy the latest movies and TV shows. Microsoft Edge. This is Microsoft's new web browser that it intends to be a replacement for Internet Explorer. These are going to be the default apps to open these file types if you select Next. If you want to use a different default app, such as Firefox for the web browser instead of Edge, you can change that now by selecting Let me choose my default apps. When Setup finishes, it will ask to set up default apps. Select the Next button. When setup finishes, we will get to the Windows 10 lock screen. Select the background image to see the logon screen. Here we can see the username we selected to use during the setup process. In this case, it is my JAG Tutorials account. Enter the password for your account. and either press enter or select the right arrow button here. Setup will finish setting up Windows 10 in your user account, apps and settings. This will take several minutes, but the time will vary depending on the speed of your computer. When setup finishes, it will log you into the Windows 10 desktop. If you have a Windows backup to restore, you can follow these steps. Open Cortana by selecting the text entry field, or with the Windows keyboard shortcut of Windows key plus S. Enter the text file history. In the search results, under settings, select file history settings. This tutorial will not cover restoring the backup. This is just to let you know that the feature exists. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial. If you like the content, please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel, JAG Tutorials. If you want to find out more about supporting JAG Tutorials, check out our Patreon page through the link on screen, the link in the description, or through the YouTube card.